this video, we're going to check out the Sensorm Deluge 1.2 public firmware. We're going to go over one way that you can use the grid mode to record audio clips from the internal master output. And then we can look into what sort of interesting variations that we can create after we record the clips. We're in grid mode, which shows all the clips and the sections that we have. Now, if you're in the other mode that's called rows, just hold down song, turn select knob, and then we can see that we're in rows mode. Let's go back, hold down song, turn select knob, we're in grid mode. It is important to know that grid mode does not have the pink pad anymore to go to perform view. To do that, you just have to press keyboard. Now, I'll always operate this way in rows mode. So it's now consistent. So this column is an internal synth. Now I can hold down anywhere on that column and turn the up down knob. We can change the color. So I'll just make it purple. This column is drum kit and each one is different clip. So we have different clips and I match them up per section. So the patterns I made were 14 steps long. So we can just listen to it. Just like seven notes. And go into it, hold it down, press clip. And see all the notes. Let's go back to the first. Let's stop. So here we can see it's the synth, but we don't know anything about that clip. So you can actually name the clip now. So hold down the clip and push down the knob. Now we have clip settings. Just go down to clip name. Now we can name it. Let's just call it A. Enter. Let's back out. Now if I hold it down, it says A. Let's make that B. So hold down the pad, push in the select knob, go down to clip name. Let's call that B. Press enter. And we exit. Now we can see B and A. Clip A is blue and B is pink. So if I go to a ranger view, we see the synth here. And I push down, add a clip. It's A. So let's say we did 2A, then turn this left, now we can see B. So if we name it something specific that we'll know what part it is, we can actually just name the clips and put them in. Go back to grid view. Now I want to create an audio clip that will record the deluge output post effects. I'm going to be doing this slowly in steps so that you can understand how you can apply this to your own music. So let's start off here with a clip. Now we have a menu now and I can just scroll up to audio. If I let go, we can check. There's the audio clip. Let's say I want this to be named something so I can name the clip. But what I want to do is name the track itself. It's audio one. So let's hold down the clip, press clip. Now we're in the audio clip. It's just blank right now. now I'm going to hold down shift push name. Now it says track name. So let's call this original. So I named it original because I want all these to be without a, any effects. So now we can see audio original. We're going to have no effects on these. So it'll just be the original audio of what we record in. I'm also going to go back in. Now I'm going to change this to 14 length because I want it to match up with the length of all of these. Now that I have that set, I'm just going to hold this down and just copy it down. Let's copy it down all the way. So currently we have 12 sections. That's as far down as we can go with it. We don't have to use all of them. I just made it just in case I want to keep that length of track. Next thing I want to do is hold down learn and press the clip. Now make sure I can see it's set to deluge output post effects. So that should be all set. That means it's almost like resampling. We're going to record loops in depending on how we perform these out. So let's say I want this one to be the intro. So I just want it to be this synth. Let's just record that in. So I'm enabling record and now I'm selecting that first clip. Let's name it intro, press enter. So now we know that that is the intro that we're going to record in. I'm going to make this really simple. Let's just press play. Now it just recorded in. I pressed both right before it ended and now it's just looping that. Now what I want to do, let's actually, let's record in all of these synths down through here, just solo. So press record play. Let's do the same thing, just turn that off. Let's press record. Now let's enable these. And 
Now let's do these. So now we have clips of all of those together. Now what I want to do is copy this over here. Now I have a whole new audio clip here. So I'm just going to jump into it. We're going to clear it out. Left, right knob, back. Now it's at the same length that it needs to be. Shift, name. Let's name this. So I'm going to record that column, just like the original one without effects, but it's going to have drums and synth. Let's just say SD for synth drums. So now what I want to do, let's just change all these, the colors, just so they're distinct. Now this, I'll just make that red as well. Now we're just going to copy this down all the way. Go all the way back to the top. So we're enable synth drums and then clip and it's record enabled. Press play. Press them all at once. There it is. Now turn that off. Enable record. Do the same thing. Okay, so that's done. Same thing. Record, play. Okay, so that's it. So now we have original synth and the drums. So now we have audio clips that are recordings of the different combinations of these clips. So let's create another audio clip row. So I just copied that over. And now this is going to be with effects. So we're just going to play in some chains into here. So just make sure we just know all of these are the synth. All of these are synth and drums. We can play around with different chains and figure out what works. When we're performing into here, we just have to know that these work by columns and we don't want to have both of these playing at the same time because this is a synth line. This is the same synth line with the drums. So let's just enable this and enable record. So we're just going to record into here. Let's press them all to close. Now it's going to play that. Now I can just go and let's say go to pitch, turn it down. go to pitch and change it. Now let's get some reverb. That just sounds a lot different than what we just did. Now if I wanted to record in down here, for example, make sure this goes off when I add drums. Say so I want just the synth, so turn that one off. some drums and then we're going to close out. Now what happened is that's applying all the same effects as we applied here. So I can go into here, change that pitch, maybe turn the reverb down, turn up some delay, turn down the filter. Now if I want to switch back to here, see it counts down. Now we switch from this down to here. Let's say I want to take this one, bring it down here, and then we can go into the clip. Let's make it shorter and just press play. So I can copy that down, go down to here, go into the clip. Let's make it even shorter. Let's bring it in more. So now it can do like a repeating and play around with that. Now let's say we like this. Let's go in the clip. Press clip again. I'm going to go to master pitch. Let's play around with that a little. I just added some drums on top of this. I can go into here, turn up the side chain so that that signal is affected by it. We can record this into the arranger, so record song. 
Now just starting with that, I can actually modify the sound because that's actual synth part. Enable that. Now let's switch to this one. Turn these off. playing and I can add drums over it. And I can also turn up the side chain on it. Just press shift and enable it. Now it's going. through and see everything that happened here and you can see all the white instances are the independent parts where I was playing with effects so this actually records tempo change so it was at 112 here let's move over here let's go further it was at 20 now see it's changing so we can automate tempo now So stay tuned for more videos. So as you can see, it recorded everything that I was doing. Including the tempo change. See it? Down to 6, 5.25 tempo. It's crazy. Thanks for watching. <laughs>